are an angel, Phil. I want to feel your light. I'll evict you before the week's out. Yeah, so I, diving in, I wanted to talk about American Dreamer. Um, mm -hmm. Congratulations on on the film and, uh, and and getting it to this point. Um, I'm curious. There, there's a theme that runs and uh, uh, that runs through a lot of the works that you have done, whether it be Saint Vincent, uh, Hidden Figures, um, with your husband. This humor that also meets this heart. Um, what made American Dreamer a film that you wanted to work on? Well, I first of all love that it was based on a true story from uh, this American life, and um, you know. It's always fun to dive into a true story because it just adds like a layer of reality that you're like, this actually happened. This isn't like, you know, so, um, so doing that and being part of this movie has just, you know, really been, it's just been a huge blessing. I love roles that, you know, are funny, are heartfelt, are tragic, are, and combining them because actually, you know, that's life. That's the way it goes. <laughs> yeah, an intersection of lots of of different emotions there. Yeah. Um, speaking of emotions, I'm sure a lot of emotions were coming up in uh, acting side by side with with Peter Dinklage and, and Shirley MacLaine in the film. Um, I wanted to ask what it was like to work side by side with them, trade lines with them, um, and how much of those interactions were were improvised. They seemed very organic. Well. Jeez, working along Shirley MacLaine, I'll tell you, I had to like, it was kind of like otherworldly because if I sat down and thought too much about who she was and what a legend she was and her body of work and, you know, that I have as an actress myself studied her and watched her and admired her and was, have been mesmerized. If I thought about all that, I don't think I would have been able to act, you know, so that this is where you have to compartmentalize and, and, you know, saying this also for Pete and his body of work and anyone that I work with, it's like, it's daunting, you know? So you kind of have to not think about that and be in character. And this is my mom. And, you know, this is where mind over matter kind of works and using your skills and then, you know, just going, okay, I'm going to think about that later. <laughs> yeah, kind of keeping it out of mind. No, I, I, I'm sure that was helpful and kind of working side by side with, with her and, and standing your ground there. Oh yeah. And sure. Yeah. I mean, they're surely so organic. She's such a force of nature. She's such a, she just, I don't know. She's like electric. She just like, is this, you know, thing that you just, you know, and she just, it's, it's just so amazing where I, I can't, I'm going to get weird and stuff like trying to like, you know, talk about her, but it's like, she's just so amazing to work with because it's just so, it's so rich and it's so surprising at the same time. And it's so real at the same time. And it's, a, I mean, look, she's a legend. She's a legend. And that's what she is. She's a legend. <laughs> no, un un undoubtedly. And she has such a presence in the movie when she comes in, it's a little bit until she, she makes her presence known. Um, but what, when it, when it, when she does it, it's really impactful. Um, I want to ask you as a, as a producer, switching gears slightly. Um, I had a chance to speak with Paul, uh, your director on this film um, and he was lovely and, and really kind and answering my questions um, this was his feature directorial debut um, what and, and dealing with a, a story like this it can be kind of risky putting a film in and someone like that's hands um, what what went into um, hiring Paul for, for for this role why was he a good fit for for helming uh, well, your film you know you meet people along the way and we've known Paul for a long time and he knew David Ginsburg and Pete for that matter. And, you know, you, you establish a sense of trust with people in this business where you say, okay, you know, and when he put his name in the hat and he wants, he wanted to do it, it was like, we just, we just supported him wholeheartedly. I mean, he's such a creative man. He is established in the commercial world. There's no doubting that he knows what to do with a camera. So, you know, um, 
we just surrounded him and supported him and encouraged the entire journey. And we still do. And we're so proud of this movie. Yeah, no, I, 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 I really appreciate the, the, the kind of risk that you take um, in, in taking on a director like that. And I think he handled himself extremely well with this film. Um, I, I wanted to ask, um, given your, your production company, um, you have kind of spotlighted tonally similar films and, and, and paid attention to similar films. What sort of films do you hope to to develop as part of this production company? Like why, why was American Dreamer, what, what boxes did American Dreamer check off for you? Well, there were a lot of production companies involved. So I'll just speak for me and my husband, Golden Light Films. Um, the boxes it checked, I mean, the heart, right? It, it has to have heart and it has to move the audience in a way that, you know, other movies don't, so to speak. And um, mixing humor with tough subject matters or things that are like touchy, you know, given that, you know, it is hard for people to find a home these days. It is, you know, and uh, to be able to approach it with a sense of humor and light and, and, and lead the audience with hope and love. Uh, you know, all of our films, we, we strive to reach the audience in some fashion that will um, change their life. And and make them think and and leave them with a little more joy and light in their life. I think that's a, a beautiful aim to aspire to. And, well, because and... they're, you know, we don't shy away with, from tough, tough subjects, you know? And so our approach is to approach them so that people can swallow them and laugh at them and cry with them and understand themselves a little better. And so with every movie, we always have the audience in mind and what do we want to leave the audience with when they leave the theater? And so, um, so yeah, that, you know, that's our, that's our foundation as a production company. I think that definitely shines through with, with your work on this film.